In a multi-tenant Kubernetes environment shared by multiple stateful applications, storage resource management becomes very important. With the authorization CSM module, Dell PowerFlex already offers storage capacity management. Watch this video to learn more. In the latest release of the CSI driver for PowerFlex, we introduced QA support which now gives performance management for stateful applications as well. Let us see how it works. In the storage class template of the latest CSI plugin, you can set values for IOPS and bandwidth limits that you can apply to the parts using the particular storage class. Let us see this in action. Here we have a three node Kubernetes cluster with access to Dell PowerFlex storage. We also have a few storage classes with different QoS settings based on the latest CSI driver. Now to see the QoS settings in action, we'll use the popular FIO storage benchmarking tool as the workload. To run this tool on Kubernetes, I have a Helm chart deployment that actually takes as an option the storage class that we want to test. Let's start with the storage class without any QA setting as a baseline. We can deploy and run the FIO job by passing the storage class as option to the Helm command. We'll use the performance dashboard of PowerScale to monitor the FIO test results. And we can see the baseline performance without any QS throttling. Note that we are using a three node PowerFlex cluster with bare minimum node specs and these results are not indicative of actual performance. Now let us run the same test but with a storage class where we specified an IOPS limit of 1000. We run the same FIO workload with this storage class and we can see that the workload has been throttled appropriately. Let's also try a storage class with a different IOPS limit here for example with 5000 as the limit. And we can see that the performance of the test is as expected. Now we use storage class with bandwidth QA setting by setting the bandwidth in KBPS parameter to a value that corresponds to 32 Mbps. And here we can see that the bandwidth setting is also working as expected. Thank you for watching the video. You can learn more by joining our community, trying the various plugins and diving deep with technical resources.